Welcome back to DXB Today. Now our next guest is a corporate professional, I would say a friend, and she's turned comedian, leaving a mark in the comedy scene through her captivating wit and versatility. Yes, I love her. I can't wait to speak to her. Noha Bashir is on the show. This is such a pleasure. Oh my God, that introduction, Lynn. I've never, I've not seen you for years, man. It's been a decade. It has. We, we've, met, we've met in my corporate days. In the corporate world, yeah. and now yeah. you're a comedian. I am, full time. It's been a year, my one year anniversary of full time comedy. My bro. Thank you. So, so what made you do it? How did it come together? Talk me through it. Well, it's a long story, but I'm going to make it really short, right? Yes. So I used to do theater when I was young, since I was seven. I used to be very shy, and theater was the only place that I wasn't. And I had a bunch of normal human jobs, normal adult jobs. Then I went to tech and corporate for 20 years. And uh, recently I worked in New York. So my company moved me in the pandemic to New York. And there I fell in love with stand-up. My first ever comedy show, just someone randomly popped in as a surprise. It was Dave Chappelle. Oh wow. So that was the kind of environment I lived in and I just absolutely loved comedy and um, I realized that life is actually really short so I left the corporate world and decided to come back to Dubai and try theater. I didn't even think about stand-up at the time. I knew I loved it and then I accidentally walked into a Dubamedy class. Okay. Perfect. Incredible. From I've, got, yeah. I've got to ask, sorry, just as uh, being a female in the industry, um, I mean the comedy scene as a whole, like there's not many women being represented. Mm -hmm. In Dubai, I think it's even less so. So how do you feel the impact of being a female uh, comedian in the comedy scene is? I love, I love breaking stereotypes. It's something that is a little hobby of mine. I absolutely love it. Um, and um, the interesting thing is when I entered comedy here last year, the Dubai comedy scene was going through a sort of renaissance. Okay. You know, I think maybe Sean would say this like two years ago, you can have maybe 10, 15 comedians mm. that you can, you know, you want to perform with. Now it's maybe 150 in one year. So with that, because the city is so diverse, you're actually finding so many female comedians here. We have a bunch of comedians that visit from the US and from Europe and they come to our local nights and they say, we've never seen in our European countries and in America, this many women on a lineup. Okay, yeah. incredible. So, yeah, so it's do, do female comedians yeah. get, you know, a, a lot of the times they don't get the sort of recognition because I've heard a lot of men say that women aren't as funny as men. What, what do you have to say to them? Well, it's interesting because almost every show I do, a man comes up to me really excited and tells me, you're the first woman that makes me laugh as if it's a compliment, <laughs> you know? But <laughs> I mean, it is. I mean, you're hilarious, Ash, Ash. You're really funny. Oh, thank you, Lynn. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing, but um, we're breaking stereotypes. There's a bunch of women. I think my favorite comedians in the world are female comedians. Yeah. Um, so I don't agree with them. Yeah, I, I was going to ask you, because obviously there is, there is like a, a male dominated society in comedy, which is like it, with consumers as well as performers. So on both ends, you have just a mass male consumption. But it's funny because, you know, let's let's say in the in the traditional scope, you would think that like if a woman is going to be funnier than a guy, you think that they would like that more because like you're in the, the mass majority and you're like, oh, OK, look, there's an anomaly, let's say. And you have that because I've, I've seen you perform we've performed together and you like love making people feel uncomfortable. It just happens to be a guy most of the time, <laughs> which I love, honestly, because I can see you are right. Like a lot of the times you'll come and be like, you're the first woman to make me laugh. And it's like, OK, like what do I do with this information? <laughs> I'm a comedian first and foremost. Um, so do you think there is like an advantage? Because in their mind, they're already setting like a low bar or they're like, oh, it's a woman. It's not going to be funny. So do you feel like that works towards your advantage or do you think it's like it's still working against you? I love the way you put it, because technically it's a disadvantage, mm. but because comedy is all about misdirection, mm -hmm. it's actually maybe an advantage. Mm. I mean, I love it. If you play it right, it's an advantage. Mm. If, you, um, if, you're, if you're not confident enough to really look it in the eye, it will be a disadvantage. So that's the like <laughs> answer to your question. I like the <laughs> 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 So what do you think makes Dubai such a special place for comedy? Um, I think that there's a lot, I mean, obviously there's a lot of nationalities here, a lot of, a lot of people, but when I lived in Dubai, before the pandemic, there wasn't this much of an art scene as it is now. Yeah. There's so much support now for the arts. 
you know, from everywhere you can lo you look at. There's 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 art festivals. There's you know artists that are coming here on special visas that weren't available before the pandemic. So there is a scene of artists. I spend almost every day three hours either writing on my own or brainstorming with with artists, fellow artists somewhere on the beach. It's 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 popping, you know. Fantastic. Fantastic. Noah, thank you so much for coming on the show and we'd like to wish you all the very best for your upcoming gigs. Thank you. Can I talk about my upcoming one? Yes, yeah, please do. Yes. So um, it's going to be my first ever one hour special on June 21st. Yep. That's I'm there, the, mate. I'm yeah, there. You're I'm invited. There. You're all there. invited. You're all invited. Have you ever been set already? <laughs> Not yet, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, 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 we will make some we'll make talking. Some <laughs> Arab we'll make some Arab talking. <laughs> I know someone who knows someone who's my cousin who will fix it. You will check here, okay? <laughs> You'll check here. All right. Thank you so much. You guys right. have been lovely. Thank you so much, Nora. I wish you all the very best. Thank you. Amy, I believe you have our DXB in 60 quiz for Sean. Yes, indeed. We just like to put you on the spot. I don't like tests. Well, you're going to have one now. We want to know more about you. So we're going to have a quick fire questions 60 okay. seconds which where do i look so i don't break my neck like 60 it. seconds on the clock are you ready yes if you weren't a comedian what would you be doing um singing i can't sing but oh, i would, oh, okay. I would try i'll to. go say were you gonna <laughs> no. throw some lyrics no la, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> your first ever job um i can't really say okay it was it was transportation i was just very young i shouldn't have been doing it oh okay <laughs> <laughs> your motto in life and in work um you have two pockets in life, one of happiness and sadness. Uh, sorry, one of happiness and one of sadness, and you choose which one to put it in. Okay, nice. A superpower you wish you had? Ooh, um, controlling time, for That's sure. That's a good one. Yeah. Your dream collaboration? Uh, being on stage with Dave Chappelle. That would be a yeah. very good one. Do you have any rituals before you go up, up for stand-up? Use the bathroom multiple times. <laughs> okay, <laughs> strangest source of inspiration? Uh, being in the bathroom several times a day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And your go-to place in Dubai? Four. Anything. Well, Dubai is so diverse, you can't say that. Okay, you said you like food. Go-to place for food. Um, for pizzas, I would go to Pitfire. I really like Pitfire. Okay. Um, and for burgers, sadly closing, but I am Burger, uh, one of my close friends has a shop, Insane Cheeseburger. Okay. Uh, I used to go there for, for cheeseburgers. Fab, yeah. okay. Got them noted down. And last question, why Dubai? Um, I've been here all my life, and if I wasn't here, I would choose here just because of the potential to grow. Like Dubai is what the American dream used to be and it still is that for many people. Very true. Well, thank you so much. It was thank a pleasure you. to get to know you Well, thank you for better. having me. Yeah. Yeah, thank it you. It was an honor and a pleasure to have you here. Likewise, Sean. thank Seriously, you very much. You know as well. Thank you so much. And you're going to be at the Abu Dhabi Comedy Festival? Correct, correct. I'm yes, opening indeed. for Bad Friends Show, which is Andrew Santino and Bobby Lee. And then um, I'm going to be doing content around Abu Dhabi for that week as well. So I'll be in Abu Dhabi during the entire comedy festival. So Sean, if you want to quickly plug your show in two different accents right now, then please go ahead. Well, so just to follow uh, My Parents Are Divorced <laughs> on Instagram. And you know, it would really, I really appreciate it. I launched a new show called Comedy Kitchen, which is just an open mic. So if you're feeling up to it, you know, pull on through. You might have a great time there. You might have a terrible time there. We'll only know if we appear ourselves. Right, thank you very much. Back to you in the studio. Man. <laughs> Amazing. You asked the last you asked accent two and he gave <laughs> The you last four. one was just a random. I, 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 I was just practicing my scouse accent. It was a scouse accent. Shikhan and Khanakho. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. Now, make sure you stick around because we've got the lovely Jessica Alves who's going to be performing and closing the night out. So stick around, DXP Today. See you soon. <laughs>